This episode is sponsored by Zenro Clothing Co. Pick up your tees and our accessories at zenroclothingco.com and be sure to use offer code SOCRATES at checkout for 20% off select items. Also, if you're not into uh, spending the money, just check out the Zenro Radio playlist, zenroclothingco.com, music for your everyday. This episode also is sponsored by The Pornian Bakery. If you're located in the Pornian area of Scarborough, Toronto, be sure to check out The Pornian Bakery, say what's up to Arville, and uh, pick up a donut or two. Baked daily, crafted with love. This episode also is sponsored by Podbean. Podbean is the podcasting platform of choice. It's the one that me and Vish use, and um, is great, you know? If you're uh, looking to start that DIY podcast yourself, definitely check out Podbean. Use uh, the link podbean.com slash Socraticgamers and gain one month of unlimited podcasting for free. Test it out, build that content. Uh, anyone can podcast, right, Vish? Yep. Start a, start a podcast and uh, get your ideas out there. All right, enjoy the episode. So we watched um, two different inclusivity or inclusion, I guess more inclusion movies last night uh, separately. Mm-hmm. You saw Joe Coy and you saw the Prey movie. Yep. And that one, the Prey one, primarily focused on like uh, indigenous yep. people. And then Joe Coy focused on Filipino people, mm-hmm. right? And it's funny because I was watching the Joe Coy movie and I was like, I was like, wow, there's like a lot of Filipinos in this movie. And then I forgot that it was a Filipino movie. It's <laughs> like, of course, right? Like, of course, you're going to have a lot of Filipino people. Right. And then I was walking through uh, Yorkdale and I saw Sporting Life has like Asian models now. Mm. Louis Vuitton also has Asian models, uh, black models too. Um, yeah. And, and remember before how I was like, oh, inclusive, the epitome of inclusivity is indifference. No, I was like, if you want to be really inclusive, just like be indifferent to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it made me think, I was like, let me just double check what those, those definitions were. Mm-hmm. So inclusion is the idea of like including people, which yeah. is what the, the movies were. Um, and like, so in marketing now and like media, it's all about inclusion, right? Mm-hmm. Making sure you depict the, the people that were not depicted before minorities. Right. right? Mm-hmm. But in uh, inclusivity means the practice or policy of providing equal access to opportunities and resources for people who might otherwise be excluded or marginalized. So it's about equal access. Mm-hmm. I thought it was about like, like we're all at the table. You know what I mean? Like, like we're not kicking out anyone. Like, cause the idea of like inclusivity, when you hear it, you're like, okay. So like, if you imagine a dinner table, it's like everyone can be invited to the dinner table right. as they are. Mm-hmm. Right? You'd think that. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't know it actually had to deal with like, um, like equal access. So it's like, okay. even these, de- no, but like, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but even these definitions is like, it seems like a misnomer to me. Right. Cause like, why would you, why would you focus on equal access? But inclusivity like I, to me, it like suggested we're including everyone like without um, bias or whatever. Oh, yeah, okay, right. So I don't think indifference is the epitome of that. I think it's more like the epitome of acceptance is a difference mm-hmm. because if you accept people as they are, you're indifferent to. Yeah, I think so. I think right, that makes, that makes sense. more sense, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah, see, it's like these definitions are getting so tricky now that you're like. What do you exactly mean? Like I was listening to this podcast uh, for Azahabi, Hobby, and he was saying um, he's raising his kids to be like heterosexual males, heterosexual females. And the first thing I thought of was uh, cisgender. I was like, oh yeah, they're just cisgender. Mm-hmm. But I was like, why do we need to create another definition for it? You know what I mean? Like where it seems like so complex. Um, I think it's just more. Like narrowly defined. I think it's more it's more defining. Yeah. The, okay. Like, um, more being being more specific. Okay, but uh, then like, how specific do you go? Is my question. Well, that's what happens over time, right? With any kind of culture, which is if if new things are happening, you need to redefine things, or add definitions. Right. Okay. Yeah. That that makes sense. That makes sense. But like. Those people weren't there before. I mean, weren't not there before. They were always there. Yeah, saying. but they weren't acknowledged before, right? So now that, okay. like, it wasn't considered under society that these people exist, right? It's like... Yeah, true. Okay, I see your point. It's, yeah. it's more like that. Okay, yeah. Because you can... Um, 
because you're basically also like with without having those words um it, they're being excluded okay but like but having specific i guess definitions um like it kind of involves them in society yeah, yeah, no, no, I see your place. It's right. like putting the um, the Asian faces models at yeah, like yeah. Sp- sport, uh, mm-hmm. sporting life or whatever the store was. Mm-hmm. But like, I, I get that. But it's like, wh- where do we, where do we? Because you can always make more of a drilled down definition of something, right? So it's like do we go like in the future will it look like okay i'm cisgender slightly leaning towards this you know what i mean because like what does it mean to be like heterosexual you know it's like but, yeah, but yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. i have like well not me but like you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I if you have like slightly you know homosexual thoughts are you like do you fall into a different category now mm-hmm. and then it's like now we're just drilling down every single thing yeah i think it's just having uh, it's the expansion of like including everyone but i think these things will end up um what do you call it? like refining over time yeah okay hey. like a lot of other languages have different things f- for meaning for, like 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 love that uh-huh. word is such a in english it just doesn't it means like yeah, one yeah, thing. About this. Yeah, like but like agape. in other languages yeah. yeah in other languages uh, there's specific definitions to the love. So loving yeah, yeah. animals this is a different word. Yeah, or yeah. loving, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. having a significant other love is yeah. a different word. Yeah, so yeah. it's like... The Greeks, they, they're yeah. the ones so who it's like, with that. It's kind of like we're going through figuring out definitions. Like more specific. <laughs> to be more specific. Interesting. And then that, that's just part of any normal cultural... like That happens over time. Yeah, yeah. I, I wonder too, though, like because even from my own point of view right like i was like oh i mistook that word i thought inclusivity meant like Mm -hmm. everyone's invited to the table Mm -hmm. you know if we're having a dinner but like to find out it's about like barriers Mm -hmm. like the the defining point is about barriers it's not actually about like like we're representing everyone Mm -hmm. Right, right right you know so it's like that's what I see as the issue being like more definitions equals more confusion over time. Unless we have like a dictionary that we're all like, okay, this is the no, thing. I think, I think we're just, um, we're, we are in the older generation in a way, right? That these words weren't then. introduced. In, yeah. But, but I'm sure if you brought like, like that's, you're right. But I feel like if we went to, you know, somebody who's younger and we're like, what does this mean? It's like, I don't know if they would know it. I think that a lot of them are learning more about it than we mm-hmm. ever. Like, of course, we're in the older. We're learning on our own. I feel like that's happening in, in classrooms. But did anyone, like, vet the idea before they put the idea out? You know what I mean? Like. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it works. I guess society kind of does you know that, what right? I mean? Like, because, no, because, like, educationally, you know when they, like, got rid of cursive writing? Mm-hmm. It's like, why do they do that? Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess it's, like, superfluous now because, like, who writes like that anymore? Yeah, we're or all like, typing now, right? So. Or, like, even um, mathematics, they're, like, you you don't need... Remember how before we're, like, you can't use a calculator? Now it's, like, yeah, you can use a calculator because we understand you're going to have a calculator everywhere. Mm-hmm. So, like, maybe it's just the dying off of skills. I don't know. I think you know so, saying? yeah. Like, this yeah, transitionary yeah, yeah. period is, like, do we think about this one? Like, you no. no idea of math in your head, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think um, it, this is just the flow of society, right? It has mm-hmm. it'll, it'll all change like that. Like we were in the transition of everything's going to become computers, so people true, are still true, true. confused which way to should we teach the old and the new. Yeah, because remember when we were younger, it's like don't Wikipedia everything. Yeah, yeah. And now it's, but like, now hey, it's a viable source. Wikipedia like, okay. is relatively good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. That's so weird. Because because there was a fear of internet then, which is all misinformation, which is what we have. We do have that, but we still have a lot of good information too. So it's like, it's understanding how to vet those sources. Right, 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 right. Hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. We're we're such at a. I wonder if every generation feels this though. Like they're at such like a. Well, I think I think there's always something new that always happens, right? Something new to learn. That, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, they feel like all oh, this changes society change the world you know yeah. every generation feels like yeah. i'm sure like during the vietnam war they also felt that you know like mm-hmm. oh this is gonna change the world mm-hmm. or like the 60s revolution this is gonna change the world yeah. 
And it's yeah. also like a lot of the people that use this internet and social media, you know, when we were at that age, we were very um, vocal of our, our ideas, but we just didn't have social media to spread it on. True. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But then, like, we also don't know the ramifications of those decisions because, like... But again, yeah, it's just the flow of society, right? So we have to see. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> true. Like, w- what if, like, some sort of scrubbing software gets really sophisticated? So, like, they're able to enter keywords and see if we talked about these keywords mm-hmm. anywhere. Mm-hmm. And then it brings you up, like, a transcript of everything we've said. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I mean? If they get so sophisticated yeah. and they start, like, policing things on that level... Yeah, see, they think there's that's a, that's a bit of a problem because people change over time too, right? Yeah, so, yeah, true. just like the beginning of this, like, oh, let me just re-clarify that definition because yeah. it was like oh, exactly. But then they'll now. still because then they'll if they find that and they used it wrongly, they're going to use it against you. But it's like, but I already changed. You didn't read my like what I did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. like my what I said about like, it yeah, later yeah. on. But you you focused yeah. on the thing that I, did, I said before. Yeah, that's true. It's like what happened with with um, like Kevin Hart, right? With the, oh, Osc- yeah. with the Oscar yes. thing, which is like, but he already apologized for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, that much was also before. a long ago tweet. It was long ago tweet, yeah. So it's like. That's kind of weird, though. Like, yeah. as a horde, canceling people is kind of weird yeah, yeah, yeah. for like an idea mm-hmm. that you had as a kid. Like, because, like, okay, so do you still consider me dumb for having once believed in Santa Claus? I don't believe him anymore. Right. But it's like, oh, but you did before. Mm-hmm. So you must be still dumb. Mm hmm. Right? You know, it's like, why are you holding someone to an idea that they once had that's it's more no about longer what, relevant? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that's a, it's more about what they have right now, right? So he doesn't have those ideas now. Ex- yeah, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But yet society holds... But you know what it is? Because, like, society doesn't really think, like, deep dive, Mm-hmm. as a whole like the individual might but they're like but everyone's saying this one thing so we all gotta like you know what i mean like i'm sure i'm sure like um yeah, the, yeah, the loud minority right yeah, like yeah. you're like oh but both sides yeah both minorities both sides of the minorities do that too it's like what do you mean um taking old info like the whole uh old thing but making it as it seem as if it was new yeah yeah, yeah. or it's there's like um like the vaccine thing still going on um, oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So oh. I saw like the thing that was spreading around the internet was like uh, the the head of WHO hasn't taken the vaccine. Okay, right. Like, yeah, and then yeah. it's like they used the clip and like uh, in that interview he was like, I haven't. He asked him if he'd taken the vaccine because it was an early time. He said, I haven't yet. I'm waiting for my country to get it. So then, okay, he's talking about equal access kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like when when they get it, I'll take it. Kind oh, of thing. interesting! Like when Ethiopia, Ethiopia got it, then he took it. So he did take it. That was in, but he they're using an old clip oh, saying that he so never weird. took the vaccine. Yeah, that, see, that's. That, but then that's if you a, look into it, yeah. so that I saw like that was in the, in my Twitter, main news ex, like fact checking that because that was what was spreading in this right, information. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that that's that's so interesting because like um, your brother I think sent me a video. No, no, I sent it. I sent it to them mm-hmm. uh, a video of like this. There are all these spoons and then they put these batteries and then they put a coin in the center and then the coin started like, like going crazy okay. because of the suggested magnetic pole. I was like, Oh my God, this is intense. And I was like, wait a minute, is this real? So I like went through the comments. And I'm like, Oh, this is fake. This is fake. This is fake. This is like <laughs> CGI. And I was like, or like the one that, you know, the, I don't know if you put the one with the, the ball dropping. Yeah, you told me the CGI yeah, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where like all the marbles um, so basically went into like, the exact spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, how did that happen? <laughs> you know, and you're like, oh, it's just like CGI. And like, we're hitting this point where you really can't trust what you see on your phone anymore. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You, you have to do saying, a bit more research. I think yeah. that's what we need to start doing. Like, like how you said, like, oh, they used an old clip of him. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, because then they cut that clip and it's like, and it was kind of like out of place too. Um, like you, you can um like edit clips, right? Yeah. To yeah, make yeah. it seem like he's. Um, That's the crazy part too. Yeah. It's like yeah, editing clips. Mm-hmm. Man, I don't know. I just I really don't. I really don't trust too much what I see online anymore. It's like. That's why, like, I I had to like okay, search it up. Let me yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. that this this is uh, yeah, uh, yeah, actually sure. true or what. Where is this coming from? But how many people are going to do that, right? You have to. You're just you're just going to keep scrolling. Yeah, and you remember true, that true. aspect, right? So. Yeah, it's a marketing trait, like um, negative source bias. You don't know, you don't know where it came from, 
you just remember the thing. Yeah. You don't even remember if it was like true or not. You <laughs> just remember that one thing. It's yeah. like, oh yeah, balls, if you just drop them into a random thing, they can sometimes fall in the exact um, <laughs> holes. Yeah. Or like, if you put batteries around a coin, the coin will go crazy, you know? Mm-hmm. That's so trippy. I don't know, like, but that that's why I feel... I mean, I guess they've always been manipulating media in this way. It's just like now everyone can do it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like before it was only like video editors could do it. So a very select few. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. know? Yeah. Could like but then like, it, like big corporations, if they get anything wrong, it, they like, have it to becomes, retract it. Yeah, yeah sure. exactly. And there's nothing like that for independent. Yeah, we can just pull whatever we want out. You can say whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I feel like the last frontier for like true knowledge is like conversational podcast because if it's unedited and you just like go you get the full context you know like even interviews like long form interviews i was just watching the game i was showing you but you have to watch the whole thing though right that's the point yeah exactly yeah 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 Yeah, but but like i mean relative to these like 10 second clips of like something you're not sure is real yeah yeah you know at least when they give you the full because like I'm only saying this because when Joe Rogan was starting, he was saying that people were like, oh, we don't want to hear three hour long conversations. Mm-hmm. But now it's now the only way you can trust something is listening to a three hour long conversation because mm-hmm. you're allowed to like if you listen to somebody, you know, like Bernie Sanders was on Joe Rogan, right? You can go over an idea, edit the idea in real time. And then you're like, you can actually see like the transformation Mm-hmm. You know, like you start off with one rough idea and then after conversations, you come out with this right, like solidified idea at the end. Right. Mm-hmm. Whereas like if you are in traditional media or like, you know, social media, even you have like 10 seconds to capture someone, yeah. you know, even two minutes to capture someone. Mm-hmm. But what can you really get across in two minutes? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. 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 You have to be so precise in your wording yeah yeah it's all about yeah to get deep into context yeah you need more of a longer right? long convo yeah and and um most people this is so trippy too like in government like they don't like the highest forms you you have a speech writer you know mm-hmm. it was in the report uh watch the report yeah, yeah, yeah. you tell me and then he had to write the report and then he was like yeah he was like championing the report whatever whatever and the girl had to tell him like it was his coworker because the his boss who asked for the report, she was like, "No, I don't want to put this out." And he's like, "Why don't you want to put it out? Like it's the truth, whatever, whatever." And then the girl who was his coworker said, "Yeah, you wrote it, but she has to put her name on it." Mm-hmm. So it's like, like she didn't even do the report, but she's getting credit for the report. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, <clears throat> it's it's weird to think of it that way. It's like these people who are the heads of things, the figureheads, let's say they they don't even need to necessarily know what it is the idea is they just have to communicate it properly Mm -hmm. you know what i mean if you're a good like orator you can talk really well like obama right yeah yeah. speech writers Mm -hmm. you know so the real genius person is the one who wrote the speech not actually the one who like executes the speech yeah yeah, yeah. you know because if i omit something like if i'm writing a speech and i'm like i'm just not gonna add this in he will not know that I didn't add it in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But they still have like, yeah, I get, I get that what you're saying. Yeah. But he still has final say, but yeah, like yeah. if I'm like, if I notice something, I'm like, mm, I'm not going to include that, mm-hmm. you know? And then, then you won't have that information. Yeah. These happens normally later on, like once they're in that higher positions. Right. So like when you're starting off yeah, as a politician, yeah. you don't have these speech writers. You're writing your own thing. So you got to find like speech writers that kind of match your voice. True. True. Right? But but even like uh, like data analytics like mm-hmm. you're right you're right so like um, so like I was asked to like create this this um, persona right mm-hmm. and then I was I had like so many um, like customer info data that I had to read but I could have easily been like you do this for me you give me the highlights and then I'll create the persona mm-hmm. but then I was like but if you miss something. How will, how will on, I know what's yeah, relevant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I trust my own judgment over your own. Mm-hmm. So I'd rather read all of it and create the thing. Even if it takes longer, it's like you have you have more of a experience yeah, to yeah, know what yeah, to yeah. look for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you don't pass that mm-hmm. off. But, like, in the highest forms of government, 
you have to pass it off all the time because you can't possibly do everything. You like, can't do everything. Yeah, yeah. But you're really going to read like 500 people's no, I think, data. I think, yeah, I think it works in any kind of business, right? Like, yeah, exactly. for efficiency, like you, for time. Yeah. yeah, you have to at least somewhat trust people that you have around you to do their job right. Well, evidently, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, but I mean, like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if you want the no, best no, no, quality, everyone is different. Like, eyes a, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone is different. Like that's. There's like how it's about like how much do you trust the other people? So it's maybe like it really is just yeah, it's, it's, it's just trust. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting, right? Mm-hmm. We 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 rely on heuristics like guesses or inferences more than like okay. So at the same time, where we're we're championing against stereotypes. We rely on a stereotype is like a guess. It's an yeah. inference, right? right yeah, yeah. It's like a mental hack mm-hmm. to like get um, to get like from A to B as fast as possible. We need these like mental shortcuts, right? So stereotyping is a form of mental shortcut, mm-hmm. um, and we rely on those as much as we're championing against those, mm-hmm. right? Because think about the society is like, oh, we we don't want to stereotype anymore, but it's like. But we all stare. We all do it mm-hmm. to get from A to B as fast yeah, yeah, as possible. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then actually, the game brought this up, and I was like, "Oh, that's that's actually a really genius thing." He's like, "If we're betting, okay, so so you know, like inclusion, diversity, everything, like it all matters, right? Equal mm-hmm. men and women are equal. We're gonna take that, mm-hmm. okay? We're gonna take that paradigm that's out there right now. Men and women are equal. Okay, if we're betting a thousand dollars on who's gonna bench press three hundred pounds, who you have your money on?" The men. That's what he said too. So I was like, of course, it's a no brainer. Everyone's going to think that because we know men have more muscles genetically, testosterone, yeah, 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 all yeah, these yeah. things, right? So how come when we're betting, it's okay to put aside that equality? But then in moments of like, I don't know, regular conversation of like, mm, like, you know, you know what I mean? Like trying to be just and above it all, we have to do away with those stereotypes. Yeah, it all depends on what you mean by equal, right? <laughs> but you see what and where do it's you like, mean in equal, right? That's why that's why so we don't have equal. So then yeah, you that's why bet equally. Yeah, that's why we don't have like um, like men and women. Like we have separate men and women exactly. sports. Yeah, we exactly. don't have it um, where they're mixed together. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Even now, like when you transition, you if you want to play the same sport, you have to have done it before you were like thirteen or something like that. <laughs> it just reminds me of what Trump just said recently, too. <laughs> I, I didn't follow. What like uh, something about. Like he knows how to make a women's sport or women's basketball better or something, and he's like, "I'll I'll get LeBron to transition and then." Oh my! Wow, <laughs> it was really bad. Was yeah, like, it's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's like there's like blatant ignorance, like yeah. which is rude. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But but taking taking like rudeness out of the equation because mm-hmm. like that's obviously rude. But, yeah, yeah, of course. But if if we had money down. If you have some skin yeah, in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you can see it, right? Like, why is, like, nowhere in any sport we're having, um, like, when men and women facing each other? Because it's unfair. Yeah. But yeah. but but then we go back to equality. So it's like, what do you mean? Exa- this is what I mean about definitions. How you define it then? Mm-hmm. Equal to what degree? Yeah, I think, in, I think in general sense, if you understand that, they just mean an equal in society. Yeah, okay, yeah, then sure but what what does that reach towards like equal in society how um no like the same opportunities to get so hired they, for work or for whatnot sure. so yeah. so they should have the same opportunity for me to bet on them as another person right because like but, all right how about this you're talking about like hire for work okay if if i'm a laborer Okay, like like I'm like a concrete. I mm-hmm. own a labor company. Mm-hmm. Like you have to carry like so many whatever, and then you see like a very like skinny frail woman and a very jacked man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you mean equal in that degree too? You know what I mean? So it's like no, I understand what you're saying, right? So it's but like, I think like I just don't know. Yeah, but the there wouldn't be women working those fields, working in that field, right? But why you, not? you can see that already. No, no, but but you, right, right, you're saying they you wouldn't. But that's like, this is where, what I'm trying to say is this is where they catch you. Mm-hmm. The, like the, um, the holier than thou, like the, the, 
SJWs yeah, eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it's like, well, why couldn't they? But mm-hmm. it's like you already see that they're not gravitating. Well, you towards wouldn't that you wouldn't hire like that kind of like a skinny like that kind of woman. maybe if it's like a burly woman, yeah. Why? Like there's for sure, yeah. Okay, you know what I mean? but like, but then if we're talking about equal access, it's mm-hmm. like, well, then how come I can't do the job? You know what I mean? It's like they should be able to do the job. But they, w- but no, no, because the reason why it came down to it is just like the betting. Because yeah, that yeah, person yeah. who owns the company is betting on you as a good worker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right? So it's like, how come when we're betting, we can do away with mm-hmm. equality? Mm-hmm. But if we're talking about like stuff that doesn't really matter to us, we we can we go like higher ground. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like it's like if you don't have skin in the game. I don't think everything is 50-50. That's the thing, right? Like, but they want to make it 50-50 is what I'm saying. But it doesn't work everywhere. Yeah. Exactly. But that automatically undoes the argument. Because if that's true... It's like if you want to try to get 50-50 in nurses, there's not enough men that are nurses. Yeah, facts. There are men nurses, though. There are men nurses, but they're not but 50-50. But relative, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Because they just don't gravitate towards that field. Yeah. Right. So it's like... It's the same ignoring? thing with the construction field, right? It, exactly. Yeah. But so... So when you take the higher ground, if you like go the SJW mm-hmm. route, it's like, how does this play out? I don't understand. Like, I'm actually genuinely curious. Like, well, it doesn't where pull, does it, it depends on what they're talking about. So I'm saying in these scenarios, yeah. it's not going to work out, right? For, for sure, for sure. But, but but the underlying thing is it's because you have skin in the game. The I think owner if owner has money on this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right? But if it doesn't affect, it, it's sort of like we all have an opinion to say about other people except when it comes to our own lives like very few of us observe our life as like a work like um like a coaching process Mm -hmm. you know you know what i mean like when you see other people you're like oh i'm gonna coach you to do this it's like why don't you turn that coaching onto yourself Mm -hmm. but but it's easier to coach others than it is to coach yourself so when it matters to you you'll you'll take the yeah. heuristic route does it make sense right mm-hmm. like if if um if you own the company really you would hire that person you'd, you'd hire their best person you'd hire the best person yeah but then if you didn't own the company then you have the free luxury to like say whatever you want mm-hmm. like, bro they should all have equal access but it's like ideally yes but if you own the company would you hire them yeah i think it's like if you go in that direction that that they won't win that argument, right? It's more about um, whenever they talk about equal, equal pay for equal work. Yeah, but that's a different thing too, though. That's yeah. like a part. But of... I think that's where it stems from. It's okay. generally is stemming from that. The, the main thing is always like they, they make less. less than men, like the dollar oh. thing. Well, okay. Well, that's a. But it depends on biased. how you look at it, though. That seems biased. Okay, yeah. But it uh, it depends on how you look at it, right? Okay, okay. Um, why? It's like um. It's when when they go on maternity leave, okay. like that's all included because they get less pay during that time. Yeah. Right? So the e- only way to equal that is you have to give men paternity leave. To level that out. But they do have that now. They do have that yeah. in certain countries, not everywhere. But like whenever they talk about in the U.S., they don't have these things. Oh, they have that here though. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Yeah. It so depends like, on so which country you're talking about and how they yeah. want to f- uh, fix that kind of pay gap. Yeah. That, that, that's okay. All right. So taking that into account, okay, I'm a dog parent. Why don't I get <laughs> dog time off or whatever? You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like, so where do you draw the line? Because you don't, you don't see me as a parent because traditionally parents equate to human beings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't hit that point in our paradigm yet you know where it's like it's like um it's like technologically you couldn't transition from male to a female Mm -hmm. then you could now we have rights for them Mm -hmm. right because we see it as a possibility Mm -hmm. but people haven't seen dog parents as a possibility in their mind yet Mm -hmm. so like if my dog needs to go to the vet because of an emergency why would i like and i need to leave like right away and then people are like, oh, it's just your dog. You know what I mean? It's like, well, that's not equal. Because well, I care for the dog as much as I care for a kid, theoretically. Yeah. Like, I don't have to But I'm sure you can still go. No, no, I, I know. I'm saying, like, it. it's not 
it's not like written down. Like, of course you can go because you're like, yeah, it's an emergency. They'll just take it as a personal emergency. Yeah. But it's not like, it's not like a kid. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, there's obviously a difference. No, they're not going like, to view it as a kid. But, no, no, but, but I mean, like the, the worry, the care, the. Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, the, the, even like the rights of like the paternity leave or something. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You know, or, or let's say I got a dog right away and I'm like, oh, I need to take a month off to house break the dog, mm-hmm. you know? And they're like, oh, no, you can't. You got to come into the office. Mm. It's like, but it's similar to birth. I need to, like, take care of this thing until it can, like, walk on its own two yeah, feet. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they don't have that mm-hmm. because they don't see that as a part of society. Well, yeah, yet. they're not human. Yeah. Exa- exactly. Exactly. Yeah. They're not human, but that's a, that's a paradigm that we have right now mm-hmm. until we start thinking of them as human. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, it's going to take time because we have to first figure out human problems. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, so I think how eventually far do we those this? things will happen. Yeah. Right. So, but how far if, do we take this? If like, it's like, if it's, I think what'll happen is like if more and more people have dogs, right. And you, it's like, if there's people running in elections, oh, talking dog, about dog, dog parents, uh, yeah, parents yeah, yeah. That's how you do it. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you're saying. So it's like society's just like a, a shifting tide that always changes. Yeah, it always, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I just, I don't like that word. I don't like the concept of it because it's so undefined. Mm-hmm. And it changes. And it changes. Well, if, if it changes, it's undefined then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if it doesn't change, then it's defined, right? <laughs> an apple will always be an apple. Yeah. you won't because we've like this is an apple mm-hmm. you know like we've defined like in the dictionary you can actually look up these things right, right right and like although no you know what? maybe it's defined but it's just not accepted it's not understood widely yeah like it's because possible i just found the definition of, yeah, yeah yeah right and i was like oh i just didn't understand what that actually meant mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so then reading it it's like like even if you listen to like I'm sure if you listen to like some of our older podcasts before I took that training, remember we we're like, oh, um, like if you identify as a woman, but you have to go to the ER and you have to say that you're a man. Yeah, yeah. It's like, how does that work? Mm-hmm. But they actually did say that there's a difference between gender and sex. Yeah, yeah. I said this before. What, gender and sex? Yeah. Oh. We, we talked about it a long time back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, th- I, those I, won't change. No, but, 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 no, no, but, but, um, societally yeah. we didn't understand that there was a differentiation i didn't even understand i was like oh like are you just trying to lump them together and then if you look at no, the actual yeah, those, training those are two different they things. separate yeah they separated yeah. them yeah but societally it's not widely understood mm-hmm. so we we interchange sex and gender so loosely yeah, yeah this is a misunderstanding of what they mean when they say gender versus sex yeah 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 gender is more of a, a psychological state and sex is like what you're born with yeah yeah we're really like accepting this concept of mind now in society right Mm -hmm. we're like you know like the psyche you know in in society we're really embracing that we all have a psyche Mm -hmm. but again the problem is we don't know how to rein in the psyche Mm -hmm. we don't know like we don't know what it is exactly like some of us do like obviously yogis study it and like you know psychologists study it but it's not Mm -hmm. like generally understood in society you know right. we're, we're all using it willy-nilly mm-hmm. does that make sense mm, yeah 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 confusion okay so anyways uh what, what do you think of prey prey yeah oh, really good yeah it's good that was really really good worth uh <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna check that out today because you said it's like so good yeah it was very interesting to see you know think of it in it was 300 years ago mm-hmm. and um the indigenous people right like just living on the land, living off the land and stuff like that. And then you meet something that's futuristic. Yeah. How, how you do you that? react to that? Is yeah. it out of fear? Is it out of curiosity? Do you is think there like, gods? Is it, would you think of a gods? Maybe that's possible. Um, yeah, there's different kinds of views that you could have on it. So it's very yeah. interesting to see, um, that aspect. And they were really good at, uh, all the actors i believe were native indian uh-huh. um or aboriginals Abri- yeah and then uh they had producers on there so they could they kept the uh like a 
authenticity. Like a, the authenticity there. Like, and I felt that. Oh, that's cool. It was really good nice. seeing that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And but you said it was like super gory. I love that. Yeah, very gory. So like it was they were very... killing humans, or were they killing like animals? Like, what were they killing? Um, like what was everything? Oh, they're just killing everything. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Is it one predator or is it one? Just one. Just one, eh? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check that out. the The Jokoi movie was not good. It was, <laughs> I mean, it was. I think it's good in in the Filipino in community in certain yeah, communities, right? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like it's so thick with the Filipino stuff. It's like if a regular person watches this, you'd be so lost. Like, see, yeah, that's that, that's the kind of like you're gonna get a lot of your own community. Yeah, totally, totally. You may yeah. not get like the outside community, you know. Yeah, but wait, which but I, I feel th- like with prey, it's like it's accessible to anybody. Exactly. So that's what I was gonna say. It's like it's weird because I felt like Joe Koi's movie should have been streamed. Mm-hmm. And yeah, 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 right. Like, and then prey should have been in theaters. Like, yeah, what? but that's all business politics. Yeah, right. that was. What did you going find on? out about that? Like, why? So um, prior to the Disney merger, because under Fox is who owns Predator and stuff like that, mm-hmm. um, and so under the before prior to the Disney merger, any movie hitting the thea- theaters um, with those properties, right, like Predator or Alien or things like that, yeah, that they would need to be then after st- putting it in theaters, it had to be streamed on HBO Max. Okay, so that so a lot of the other movies that came out, I think I had listed like uh, like West Side Story or mm-hmm. um, Free Guy. So those are from Fox. So they, you, we saw them on HBO uh, streaming. D- Disney owns Fox, and now yeah, this is the prior. Okay. So, so Disney because, bought Fox. So because they wanted to keep, but within their contract. So they, in order to not yeah. do that, they would instead of so they instead of releasing it in theaters, because they release it in theaters and they had to put it on HBO Max, yeah. which they don't own. So they have to, they so just they, put it so, on streaming so, so that they fully own their it. System, yeah, like. Yeah, it's just proprietary. This is all a business thingy that. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to watch this movie, yeah. you have to stream get Disney it. Plus yeah. or uh, St- or Hulu in in America. I think it is. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah, but it was, it would have done. I think really well in in theaters though. Yeah, to, uh, I, uh, yeah. Like, you showed me that one scene. I was like, this looks so epic. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Speaking of Hulu, okay, I didn't know that this was even possible, but. So Mike Tyson has a Hulu movie coming show. out. Show, yeah. show, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's he's got this crazy controversy right now where he's like, they stole my life and they didn't pay me. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, it depends on if they're getting it from a book. Yeah, so like, how does that it's like, work? How right? they, yeah, it's the rights of the book, or yeah. like versus he doesn't own the rights of the book, or I don't know how that works. Like, yeah, kind of weird though, right? Like you would think, like yeah, you're doing like a mockumentary of my life yeah it's more like yeah you could have had him on as a producer to something ask, to yeah. be more specific with uh but like what happened at this time or what did you yeah i guess yeah. it's more about saving money and yeah, making more money right. so he's like so mad right now he's like he's like heads will roll yeah Nobody that's what i thought like I th- yeah i was like oh was mike involved like why are they making him <laughs> mike yeah i thought i thought mike was involved too because he was talking about it uh jamie fox is supposed to play mike tyson and like, oh. like that's coming out i think so like I thought this was that. I was like, oh, they just canceled Jamie Foxx and they use this random actor, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And then seeing Mike Tyson's like social media posts about it, it was like, oh, okay. Like he had nothing to do with this, mm. this show. <laughs> Weird. And I think they're going to use off like his popularity right now, right? So people yeah, true, won't true, know true. about this and they're going to go watch it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just weird that he's not getting like any money for this. Like what? Yeah. I don't know. It's all <laughs> a business game, right? Like, yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Um, actually, like, thinking about that, would you say, okay, let me get your opinion on this because I wrote this down and I was like, when I said it, I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm correct because I've seen this before, like, studies wise. But then in this new society, it was kind of, it seemed kind of weird to write down. Okay. So basically, I made the assertion that men are more individualistic, whereas women are more collectivist. Mm. and i i can i can prove this Mm -hmm. but it just sounds weird to say with the whole like inclusivity thing right now because you're like oh it's like a business game right but business is a colonial capitalist concept 
and we live in a patriarchal society which is all about pulling other people down or to rise above whereas women traditionally like hunter gatherers they spend their time in a community like so you can you can see this base. defined you can see this defined in the okay you have a pray, all right cool. more or less because no no but but okay but is that i agree with that yeah oh no no i'm saying like oh. is the prey thing is it more of like a a new school thing where they're trying to show like no no i don't think so okay it's cool. it's like that's what i'm saying they're, they're trying true, to be authentic though. to um, like men did go hunt and women yeah. tended to the camp that's not exactly fake. no 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 no. yeah exactly yeah so they were generally the healers and stuff exactly yeah which is more community based yeah yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah versus individualistic where it's like no I, I have to go do this on my own yeah, yeah hunt for you yeah you know and like throughout like i don't know and then it's more like also like don't it's not like one thing's better than the other because yeah by no. going hunting you're risking your life yeah exactly yeah it's not it's just it's just it's how it a, is yeah it's not yeah. a safe thing to do it's not we just totally. have to do it to survive it's not about yeah um uh doing it for necessity so, right? so this, is, this is what i this is what i wonder now is it like with these new definitions are we just disregarding all historical data like to say I, that I, to say that like oh men are t- traditionally i said i said traditionally because mm-hmm. i was like very mindful of my words they're yeah. traditionally more yeah. individualistic. Yeah, you can say in generalizations it's true. There will be, of course, outliers. Yeah, and people are like, oh, blah, 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 blah. It's not Which was what was like, prey, prey is about, right? Because it's the girl that wants to be a hunter. In this movie. In this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a, they're always going to be an outlier. And um, out, totally, I, I, you're right, exactly. Traditionally, like it doesn't mean that you can not be like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, on the whole, if you look at statistical data, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. I just, I find that like, I, I won't tell you the exact thing, but like my general assumption for this marketing thing mm-hmm. was like, um, and everyone's assumption was like, oh, it's going to be geared more towards males and um, within this age age range. When I actually looked, so I was like, okay, I was accepting that as like, you must have looked into it. I'm assuming that's where we're going to go. Mm-hmm. Males within this age range. When I looked at the data, I was like, no, it's females within a completely different age range. So we were wrong. But presenting that data, it's like... Well, what data? About what? Uh, about like customer data. Oh, okay. So like the people purchasing this thing, we hadn't looked at any of the purchase data. Oh. We just assumed our assertion was like, it'll be within this category. Mainly males. That's what you thought. Assumed, right? Within the product we were selling. Okay. I don't want to give it away. Like, yeah, I, don't yeah, want to, I understand. Yeah, I'm yeah. just trying to be as vague as possible. It's generally always... Okay. No, no, no. Like, no, you don't know what the product is. Like, okay, I don't yeah, want to yeah, say the product. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But like, what I'm saying is our assertion was one way. And then but we the data looked, showed something else. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But then in presenting this data, I got all nervous because I was like, you guys, <sighs> I'm telling you you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. like, but to break someone's... So I had to be like, no, I'm looking at statistical data. I'm looking at the surveys. You have to come at it with facts. facts. That's the main thing, if, but, especially when you're changing a whole idea. But I feel like in now in this time, it's like they were, I don't know if you guys are ready to hear this. No, you can't. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying, but I think that you can't, you can't really progress in society without having it, actual facts. Right. And, and like I, I took the first step forward. I was like, oh, I was wrong, guys. Mm-hmm. I, I took that. I was just like, oh, I was wrong. After yeah. looking at the data, it turns out, like, you know, yeah. like, instead of blaming someone else, you just, yeah. like, I shelter yeah, That's the whole thing, right? Like, you can't really fix a problem without actually knowing what the problem is. Right. But but now I feel in this society, it's like we almost disregard uh, it, it won't data. work. It, 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 it won't work. It, it won't work. If, if we do it, it that work. way, it's not going to work. But, but I think... I feel it, like that's the problem, though. Because, like, me saying, traditionally, males are more individualistic, women are more collectivist... That sounds wrong in today's time. Sounds wrong. It may sound wrong, yeah. But if you look at historical and statistical data, it's true. Yeah. So we're going to ignore facts for feelings? Yeah, it won't work. Yeah. Exactly. That's, yeah. that's my yeah. problem. With, yeah, I see it all in the debates all the time. Yeah. So that's why I like... And um, I just don't know where we're headed. If, are we just we're ignoring facts for feelings now? Um. Nothing's going to progress if you're just going by feelings. And and this is my problem because it's like if we don't all know the definition of what these acronyms mean, it's like you're ignoring the fact for your feeling, mm-hmm. you know. Like like the the betting thing, like who's going to yeah, yeah, yeah. right? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like, and that's why I'm worried about society. Cause I'm like, are we just, it's like that freaking, um, the spy I sent you, the KGB spy. Oh yeah. yeah. Who, who did, that's great. I don't know if you saw the whole video, mm-hmm. but he basically explained you guys. Oh, I think I mentioned in the last podcast too, but he basically explained that, um, it takes 15 years to overthrow an entire country because you got to program them from young. Mm-hmm. So within that 15 years, you set them up with a paradigm and then they go into office. They become older and they take over society. So it takes like, it takes generations yeah, yeah, yeah. to change something. Mm-hmm. And he said this in 1984 and now we're seeing what he predicted to come true where it's like, if we can demoralize the society well enough, they'll ignore facts for feelings. Mm-hmm. Right. They'll like, even if you tell them like, this is the truth and you show them like the sun is yellow, they'll be like, I don't believe it. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. Yeah, yeah. And could this whole thing be like a psyop operation from like, <laughs> right? you don't know. Right? Cause <laughs> yeah. he did say in 1984, he's like, this is what we've been working on. He defected to America and he's like, this is what we've been working on. Russians. Yeah. He was yeah, a yeah, KGB yeah. spy. Yeah. Well, all the times you can see like there were, and, and, but like the bots are coming from Russia. Exactly. And now I'm like, wait society. a minute, did yeah. this work? Because <laughs> what he said was like, when you think of the KGB, you think of like James Bond, right? Like, oh, spies going around mm-hmm. like killing people. He's like, that's actually not real. Mm-hmm. Most of it is psyops. It's just let's program people. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Right. And and like 20 plus years later from the, the interview, it's like, uh-oh, mm-hmm. what you said is true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, again, it goes back to like, we're like a herd mentality. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I was thinking about this. What, what, how much time we have? Oh, what time is it? Mm, it's almost 10. Uh, well, what time do you want to end this one? Uh, maybe like 10, 15, like 15 minutes. 15 minutes. All right, cool. Um, all right. Awesome. So uh, it was, it was last week when I put out the HKO 12 video. Because mm. it was like the 10 year anniversary. Right. That's how I knew about your 10 year work. Because I remember <laughs> I was like trying to get you to go on that trip, and you're like, I just got this job. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. okay, fine. So, watching our interview. So, basically, if you if you want to watch this, hk hko12.godlimefire.com, it'll bring you to the playlist. So, the last video on it, I did an interview with Sid, me, and Jared. Mm-hmm. Right. And we were talking about like, just like general things like why is traveling so important? Uh, what do you gain from it? Whatever, whatever. And I realized everything I was saying then is what I'm saying now. Mm -hmm. Like, like if I watch it, I was like, Oh, this is the truth. Like gain more perspective through travel, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's 10 years ago. Are we just fractals? Like, are we just compounding interests of who we were? Like people don't change. You just add on, add on, add on. Yeah. If you're, um, this is a general, this is a genuine yeah, I question. What you're I saying. don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. I understand what you're saying. I think in generality, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because like only if something drastically. To change something, your Yeah, like the like outlier kind of thing. Like something drastically happens in your life that and changes. And changes your trajectory. trajectory. Yeah, changes your trajectory, yeah. yeah. But there has to be something drastic. Yeah. Yeah. Or else it's more like it's you're building on... It's a compound you're, interest. You're building on your past experiences, right? Yeah. So it's like you, you, if you keep saying those phrases, it's like kind of etching into your own mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this it's is, like your neural pathways gets hardened yeah. through that thing because yeah. the more you repeat it. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind of freaky because when I watch it, I was like, I would say that now. Mm-hmm. And like even the artsiness of it, like the very like music driven, like I timed it to the beat and everything was like very, it's sort of like my social media, like... Like, if you look at my Instagram account, my stories, it's very much like the God Light My Fire mm-hmm. stuff. Like, it's like a background look as if, of like the life. You yeah, know? Right, right. And then even that freaked me out because I was like, oh, I'm just doing the same. Th- I thought I changed. <laughs> we all think we change, right? Like, I'm older, I must have changed, right? But then that's why I like these. Like, even this, right? Like, we're going to look back like 20 years from now, listen to one podcast, we're like, oh my God, we didn't change. <laughs> Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's kind of freaky because you're like, can you change anyone then? That's what my question was. Mm. You think you could change someone, but maybe we're all hard coded to be who we are. And then, like, you just find the people that gravitate towards your 
like um your like um patterns or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know right. what I'm saying? Like right, right. we're like like equals like. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. we gravitate towards one another. I, I don't know, you know? I think so. I don't know. I mean this is the something that would need to be studied, but like over time, right? Like how would you Yeah, yeah true, yeah. No, <laughs> exactly. Like, like even like relationships, right? Like you hear about people who like I wanna get in this, I can change that person. You know, mm-hmm. like you, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Like right. I know. I know what you're like, saying. Yeah. Like I will change him, but it's like maybe he won't change. Actually, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just it was just kind of freaky when I saw that. Right. Yeah. And I feel like it'll just continue to be freaky as we get older and older, and like <laughs> we really like you think you like I think I changed. Mm-hmm. I was like, no. Like, even you, right? Like we were talking about how um, you always watch movies, but you've always watched movies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, it's not a weird thing. Like. Like you always did that, mm-hmm. and then now watching you watch movies, like you think it's a new pattern, but it's not. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always done that. Yeah. Right, but how many other people don't realize the patterns that they're etching over and over? Mm-hmm. You know, that's why the Atomic Habits thing makes the most sense. You know, like um, I think I talked to you about it. It's like if you want to change, you do like one percent change a day. Oh yeah, yeah. And right. then, like, it doesn't seem like much. So it's like, if you want to go running, you're just like, oh, let me just um, tie my shoes today. And right. then the next day, it's like, ah, oh, they're already on. Might as well try and run. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then that's how you slowly probe. You can't, like, make a drastic life change and expect I don't think to it, stay that yeah, way. Yeah, it doesn't, it never works like that for any kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Weird. Like, like do one, like, like, be one thing one way and then the other wholly, totally different the next day. That's yeah, not, it, that's it, not it possible. Yeah. That's not that's not how any that's not, not that's not how, yeah, that's not how anything works exactly in the but world we, but we yeah. think that's how it works we yeah. think that like that if we think we'll wake up tomorrow and be a totally different person Mm-mm. it's like no it's the daily grind yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like you just gotta keep repping it mm-hmm. and then you'll slowly become that person mm-hmm. But, all right, so this, again, this is why I like jujitsu because it's such instant feedback, right? You're like, oh, I'm getting better at this thing, mm-hmm. right? So, like, I was, like, rolling with some, like, they just, like, graduated to, like, the higher level class, and I was rolling with them, and they're like, oh, how'd you do this to me, blah, 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 and it's like, I've literally been doing this for, like, four years. Mm-hmm. You've just been doing this for, you know, right. X amount of months. Mm-hmm. So, so conceptually... You're like we're we're at the same rank, mm-hmm. so you, we you, you must be my level, All right? But it's like no, it's the, it's the years, mm-hmm. years of like Tr- training, yeah, tra- right? Mm-hmm. Weird, mm-hmm. you know. So what does that say about like like life? I guess I don't know, but maybe you have to be open to wanting to change in the first place. You know what I mean? Like maybe that's also something that's programmed into you to want to change to naturally be like an open mind because it you need to be open-minded to change yeah yeah so maybe like if you're open-minded you're willing to change mm-hmm. i don't know you know the i don't know i don't know weird. if it's really change because then your nature is change right okay yeah so then it's more like you're uh, just finding different things yeah that you yeah find it's not really changing because your nature was always that that Right. If your nature was, mm, it, it's like how I go through phases. Yeah. Right. It's like maybe phasing is my nature. It's like oh, you keep changing because you do from like one thing to another thing to another thing. But it's like no, but at my core, I'm just bored with things really quickly. Yeah. 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 So like I need to change it up. For me. Exactly. So maybe that's my truer nature, yeah. and yeah. that won't change. Mm-hmm. Wow. So do because I've heard this before in like spirituality. It's like the essence of a person won't change. Mm-hmm. You know, like actually, my first martial arts teacher. Like the grandmaster, he said, uh, people don't change. You just get really good at controlling who you are. Right. Maybe okay. that's what it is, mm-hmm. you know? Controlling who you are. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. it's like, oh, I shouldn't do that anymore. It's like you always blurt out, right? And then you're like, you just get better at stopping that blurting out, mm-hmm. you know? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But that's the whole point of why they're fighting for equal rights, right? Because it's... Why? Because that's me. <laughs> wait, wait, that's wait, my wait. definition of, like I'm mm, cisgender, transgender, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how they grow up. Like that's how they were brought. Oh, up. I see. Like they oh, were born they want like to that. Be accepted. Yeah. For the, and they They're, don't fit into the box of. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. But I mean, like, doesn't everyone feel that way? 
at some point in their lives, like, I feel like I don't fit in. But I mean, like, legitimately, yeah. Like, there's zero representation for, like, Asian people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's very, very murky. Yeah, we're going through the pains of it. (laughs) We're going through the pains, yeah, 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 for sure. Um, Okay, final thing. Uh, It's a quick thing. There's only one objective. I heard Frost say this, and I was like, this is genius. There's only one objective self-truth out there, and it's pain. Okay. He, he didn't He didn't specifically say that, but he was giving the example, and then I was like, oh, that's what the answer is. So I'll tell you the example. So this person he was arguing with was like, there's no such thing as truth. He's mm-hmm. like, okay, cool. So he punched the guy. And the guy's like, oh, you just punched me. He's like, no, I gave you information. You interpreted it as me punching you. I was just saying hello. So like, there's no truth, right? right. So like, okay, you're correct. And he punched him harder, and then harder, and harder. The guy finally went, ow. He's like, oh, did it hurt? And he's like, yeah, it hurt. So, like, that's the only thing that we cannot deny pain. Think about it. Like, love, you're like, okay, I love this thing, but it's so elusive. Like, you can't really, it's not like, if I, if I burn you with something and I shock you with it, your automatic reaction is going to be like, ow. Mm-hmm. It's the one thing that's like, Define definably true within all of us, right? They're, like we experience pain. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can't you can't quantify love because that's all psychological. It's like I love something. It's like, it's like how do you know, mm-hmm. right? But if you say like, oh, I don't feel pain, or like pain is just an emotion, or pain's not true, it's like okay, I'm gonna keep going till you say ow, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Do you agree? Yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. It makes sense, right? Yeah, unless you don't have pain receptors. Hey, totally yeah for sure that, that's actually where i thought as well that's what i thought as well it's like, well, if you just <laughs> but those are the outliers you, but those so are the we're outliers, talking about yeah. generalities yeah which makes sense so like pain's not true to the person who doesn't have the pain receptor because he can't intake the pain but but like i guess that's why like they say survival is at our heart mm-hmm. like like our our deepest our deepest like fear is survival like death or like loss like everything is related to survival like you mm-hmm. have a community right like, yeah, yeah yeah well like you don't want to be kicked out of the community well it's mm-hmm. a survival mechanism yeah, survival. Yeah, yeah right like maybe maybe the only truth is that humans just want to survive mm-hmm. and that's what resource hoarding is well that's what we've been doing right that's survival is our um evolution yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. Actually, you're right. You're right. Like, we we wouldn't get to here without survival. Yeah. Or the our ancestors that survived. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah. maybe that's the most programmed thing in our mm-hmm. like psyche, mm-hmm. or like our even our body. Like, out of everything, like pain is the foundation for everything. Yeah. Because then that actually answers the question of like, what's stronger, love or fear? fear Mm -hmm. because love is like it's so subjective yeah can yeah right like Mm -hmm. you can like can you can you give an example similar to the punching one for love you can't no 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 No, that would be different for everybody what could i possibly present to you that everyone's gonna go oh i love this thing but if i cut off your arm with no and with no anesthesia we're all gonna feel that pain Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm You know, if I present you with, you know, uh, a random dog and I present you with Athena, you're going to gravitate towards more Athena. Yeah, but that's yeah, subjective. It's like yeah. it, if you did that to another person, they wouldn't care about Athena. Mm-hmm. But we all care about pain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, 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 fears yeah. are, right? It makes sense. I, 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 fears yeah, are our strongest sense. motivator. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, and with that, because you're like, oh, within history, like we all like got here by survival. Faraz made a good thing. He's a very like devout Muslim, so he doesn't believe in this whole like LGBTQ stuff now, um, which is totally fine. Whatever, do you? But he was like, every person within that thing has to thank a heterosexual person, because you wouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah. And and he's yeah. like, that's why he places heterosexuality at the, like higher than those. Sure. And I was like, oh, 
that actually like it's a hard argument mm -hmm. you know right yeah yeah, yeah 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 but that's like that's like ignoring the science again it's like no i i get your feelings totally but you have to still acknowledge the importance of yeah. heterosexuality because we we all wouldn't be here yeah, yeah or you can say like if god is the creation he created all of us right so no, no, for sure. For, yeah, fair, fair, fair. But I mean, like, so God our parents... So God created all those people, right? But, but like, our yeah, parents yeah, I get and, that. like, yeah, yeah, their yeah, parents... Of and, course, like, of course. We came from a whole line of heterosexual yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, people. Just food for thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What do you say? I, I don't know if it's, like, there's also, like, things talking about, like, how societies or, like, within cities, different types of people come up happen like it, it like it's, it's like a something to do with population survival kind of thing or like overpopulation okay yeah so generally oh so now we're at this point where like you can do those things no actually that that's yeah he brought that up too um somebody asked him in the chat about concubines mm -hmm. right like oh like because um uh no no sorry polygamy somebody asked him about polygamy oh yeah yeah, yeah. And he was saying that during wartime, he's like, polygamy was important because another person became another soldier. So we need it out of pragmatism. Yeah, that's, I know, I know that they're right. talking, they're talking about, yeah, that's. But, but, yeah. No, but, but what you, to your point is like, now there's such an abundance of human beings. Yeah. yeah. It's like, we don't feel that same within urge. Within cities, within cities. Yeah. We, we, yeah. we don't feel that same urge. That's why like for us, it's like now we can like be more who we are. Mm-hmm. Because there's so many of us. Yeah, yeah, we don't yeah. need to think about survival. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, even back then, right? Like, let's say we lived in a five-person camp, right? And mm -hmm. then somebody was like, oh, I, I'm not a cisgender person, right? And then it's like, but you need to help us proliferate. Mm -hmm. So even though you feel this way, we need you to put that aside in order to exactly. yeah. grow, yeah, yeah. right? But we've, But to your point, again now we've hit such an abundance of people mm -hmm. like almost 8 billion people it's like well how many more do you need bro mm -hmm. let me just be me at this point yeah so it's sort of like the the signaling of too much the signaling of abundance or something yeah I think it's more like that yeah I mean it's like God's God's like um like leveling the, off things yeah exactly yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, a sign, like, it's, it's like we're hitting a plateau and like scientifically we yeah. need to hit a plateau so like innate within us we start like um creating behaviors mm -hmm. that allow us to plateau off our numbers because mm -hmm. there's just way too many people yeah even though like elon musk is like we need more humans because like but it's like, no, there's 8 billion people. Like, what do you mean we need more humans? Well, yeah, the way we need more humans is more In, immigration. Yeah, is yeah, what yeah. I would say. Oh, yeah, yeah, immigration. I thought you were going to say intelligent humans. No, yeah. immigration. That's how we... This yeah. for the Western problem. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, oh frick. All right, all right, last thing, really quickly. Because um, <laughs> I know you got to go. Uh, when you said Western problem, so I want to point this out, that Filipinos made the LGBTQ plus community normalized way before it was normalized today you know even like transgender thing uh, nothing uh, people yeah they existed in in um in indian societies too totally for yeah. a long time totally. like they were revered sure. as um it's like they have the male and female energies so no no to no no totally I, I agree with you i agree with you but what, what i mean by but what i mean by what i said mm -hmm. was we actually popularized it in our culture because my dad was watching some old school Filipino TV, and I was like, and they were like evidently gay. Like you think about even Thailand too, right? It's like lady boys. That's, that's a, sorry, lady boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was like a long time. Well, what? That was a long time from in their yeah, yeah. It culture. Was like, it's, yeah, exactly, exactly. But but the thing is, in their TV, they didn't glamorize them. Mm. What I'm saying is, Filipino people, we glamorize these people. That's mm -hmm. why it was never weird to us. Like right, right, right. men dressing like women was so normal. Like if you watch <laughs> any like old school tv show like they just like gays were just accepted right i wonder if it's like yeah 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 it must have been like you know deep I mean? rooted in the culture right i don't know like, what it is i don't know it's got to be something deep rooted in the culture like, like no, of course like like for sure like you know indigenous people had those things and like 
um, yeah. there's the Indian people and like yeah, Thailand yeah, yeah. people, but we, but Filipino people actually glamorized it, mm-hmm. like actually glamorized mm-hmm. it. Like they were, they were hosts on TV shows right, right, right. and it wasn't weird. Mm-hmm. So it's like, that, that's almost like why when I see it now, I'm just like, what? Like, why do you guys care? Like <laughs> it, it was always there, you know? Yeah. 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 yeah weird. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, it, <laughs> not weird but i think it's yeah it's very cool very like, interesting if, that these we're only looking at the lens from a western point western of view. point yeah. of view right 100 percent, exactly like if you get a male filipino drunk enough they're just gonna start acting gay <laughs> it, it's just a thing that we just do right. i don't know why we do it. <laughs> it it's it's comical to us but like we will it's not weird, you know? Mm-hmm. And like, I know when I was a kid, my mom was talking about, I remember I was like really only 12 and my mom was talking about how her coworker was going to the Philippines to like have a surgery to become, um, male. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Oh, they do that. Like, that's so crazy. Like science is that far ahead. When I was a kid, I was like, what? I didn't know you could do that. Right. And then now like fast forward, we're all doing like, not we're all, but like, yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was in Asia, bro. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're right. It's like we're just looking at it through a Western lens. Mm-hmm. But what's weird is also Asian people, like it was in the Bruce Lee documentary, we don't say anything. We, we don't like make a fuss. Yeah. So like, like we, like I'm probably the only one going like, you guys know that Filipinos made that cool before it was cool, <laughs> right? Like, you know, like we just wouldn't say anything. Yeah, you're just letting. I, I I get that too. The whole not saying anything because you're letting society just play itself out. Play or itself whatever, out, like, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, because everyone has different levels. Like America is relatively young, right? That's, that's especially the point. that's the point. Yeah, especially yeah, yeah. being very new in the aspect of having all these different races in mm-hmm. a country, and how what happens with that? Mm-hmm. We don't know, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's it's a new experiment. It's a whole new experiment. Yeah. yeah. And and then even like from the Western lens, right? We we went to like Africa or whatever. Not we, but like Americans went to like Africa to like get slaves and mm-hmm. like like oh you're barbaric, so it doesn't matter to us. Like you're just like you're not human, mm-hmm. right? But then if you go to Japan, they thought Westerners were not or barbaric mm-hmm. because they didn't use chopsticks. Mm-hmm. They're like ew, you just like stab your food. <laughs> you know, you don't pick it up with like a yeah yeah so yeah. like. It's all a relative perspective. Exactly. Yeah. Which is crazy to think about. <laughs> we're just in a Western society now, so we're like we're looking at it, like you said, through a Western lens. Mm-hmm. But like different parts of the world, they operate so differently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what makes the world interesting. <laughs> I guess, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. It's just like just read about it, guys. Like I didn't know this till I read it, you know, the whole like chopstick thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like the more you just educate yourself about it. But it all depends cultures. on your, yeah, I get that it's to read about it, but it's like, where, what is your, your wh- nature, your, your, your nature, nature like, and actually open-minded or not? Yeah. Your nature and your experience in, in, in life leads you in different directions. Yeah. True. <laughs> it's always, it's that thing. Like what's more important, nature or nurture? It's like it's both. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Till next time. Anything else? No, go see Prey or watch Prey. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that uh, today. Looks good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, don't watch it, okay, unless you're Filipino. <laughs> yeah. All right. Till next time. Tazy Bush. Peace. Bye. Bye. All right. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, all those fun things, and check out our sponsors Zenro Clothing Co., Portion Bakery, and Podbean. Take it easy, Bish. Peace.